Hello everybody again. This is my video number two in which I will be explaining and having a few demonstrations of how the steel wool works and specifically I'm going to have a very clear explanation and more important a proof of the amount of hydrogen that is possible to produce with this material under the proper circumstances. Right here, I have this material. It's just two plates of stainless steel wool that are using at this precise moment fiberglass as an insulating material. And about to connect it, and we're going to be able to see perfectly the amount of material that is possible to get out of this material, the amount of hydrogen that it will be produced. As you can see clearly, this is a very large amount of hydrogen in a very small space. Most people will really need a huge here you can see perfectly the consumption is equal to 68 amps for that reason it's just my recommendation to everybody that whoever is using this kind of system have a separate electric system and a separate alternator as I already have installed in my vehicle. Right here we have the big unit that I call big but compared to many people it's fairly small. This unit is capable to produce cubic feet of hydrogen per minute. It's not that big and more important is my step stone in which I open the door for everybody to comprehend how this system works. As I mentioned in the past, I advise everybody that if they are willing to make an investment in, in this technology to have a separate electric system and more important than that I recommend a large PWM that in my third video it will be available for everybody to see but at this precise moment the only thing that I'm interested in is to give example of what this unit is capable to produce right here we have my large PWM this is my master capable of 750 amps I'm gonna turn it on in its minimum and you will see that we will be consuming a minimum of one hundred and eighty amps. Right here you can see the amount of hydrogen. And more important you can see that even in the minimum possible amount of amperes that these units can produce, we are already producing four cubic feet of hydrogen. I will be stepping it up all the way to its max maximum capacity and with the battery that I have right now I am only capable to produce an average of 5 cubic feet per minute. Sorry this morning I was using the, the unit and my batteries are going down. You can see all the hydrogen that is coming out of the unit. I always recommend that whoever is dealing with this have a good quality pump and have a decent radiator system installed. These units produce an and has to be treated with a lot of respect.
I will be opening on eBay that will be selling these units in their own cartridges. I will not be willing to sell them out of the cartridges because the assembly requires machine operation of many kinds. Here I'm going to open again the system. After storage for less than two minutes, you can see that we are well over 10 cubic liters per minute. Very visible. Now my battery is going down in the worst possible way. So I'm going to be shutting down the system. Okay, my third video will be showing my vehicle with the system installed and running. Thank you. Thank you everybody for watching. Bye-bye.